guys, welcome back at this Zanya. There have many customers bought our 50 kilowatt hour of the vertical battery pack, and they are wondering how to connect to the battery with the inverter and with and with the whole electricity. So this video we will show you guys how to connect the battery with the inverter and the whole electricity step by step. Let's to have a detailed look of it. Today we bring the battery pack is made by the Hyzen 280 amp brand new gray A with the 10,000 cycle lives. And the brand of BMS is the Pace. Pace 16 series 200 amp BMS. And the inverter, the inverter we bring the brand is the Magnifo. The it is the six kilowatts hour. It is the six kilowatt hour. Let's to see the details and to see if you can make it. Let's go. Okay, first step, we will connect the battery with the inverter. Here we use the two wires. Each of one is with the. 4 AWG, 4 AWG, because the inverter is 6 kilowatt, kilowatt hour and the, and the current is 122 amp hour charge and discharge current. So the 4 AWG well is enough at present. If you guys want to use more bigger while it is it is also okay the other side the wire to connect to the battery the red one to the red terminal and the black one to the black terminal black is for the negative and the red is for the positive the each wire to make sure they connect the well. When you lock well the screws, please use the plastic to make the insulation. You can see the details. The vertical type is with the formal well. When you put the battery pack here, you need to lock you need to lock the well to make sure it can be fixed and not to move anywhere. Here is the details how to fix the formal wear. You need just like the video shoes. When you to, to push it, it cannot move anywhere. It is locked well. Now the next step, we need to connect the inverter wire with the battery. Let's to see how to set it. The inverter has a wire. The wire has a can. Can you see the details? The can bus. Can BMS. 485 BMS. This wire and uh, this wire need to connect to the battery. This port RS four eight five A can to connect to this port. This is very important. Okay, okay. Let's to open the battery to see the details to see if okay. Then you can see the battery to power off the inverter and let's to test it. When you finish the connect connection, the voltage is two hundred and twenty watt, which is the output. This is the connection. This is the connection. This is the connection. You have the battery and the inverter, then you can use it for your uh, air condition, the electric fan, and other home applicants. For the next step, we need to connect the inverter to the state grid. First, please cut off the power and turn off the main power valve at home because it is very dangerous things. 
if you can do this step well. Today is a raining day and uh, this is our new factory. This is our showroom and uh, now it is here and uh, the build. This tip is we need to do the wiring more better. You can do as your ways to make it. You need to use the wire. Maybe you can buy some at your local and to lock it with the grid. There have three wires here at the grid. The black stand for the neutral wire. The red stand for the Life wire and uh, the yellow for the ground wire. These three wires, please take care of it. It is very important. Here we install an on and off switch to use the battery to charge our phone or our computer. <coughs> For the grid, now we need to connect the three wire with the state, with the state grid of the three wire. Now here is finishing the wiring. Uh, they'll have the six wire. Each is for the life wire. The black is for the uh, red is for the life wire. The yellow is for the ground wire, and the black is for the neutral wire. Okay, next step we need to add the. Off grid wire to connect to the state grid wire. And the first is to turn off the power. And let's to see the details. So now here is the final wiring for the inverter battery and uh, let's see the details of it uh, this is to the grid this is to the grid and uh, this is the way connect with the with the applicants you can see the details the red wire is for the light wire black is for the neutral and uh, the Yellow is for the ground. Here we connect the on and off switch, which can connect to use the system directly. And if we, and let's see to see the details of it. You can see the here. The inverter now is work for the 100 watts hour to output. Yeah, and uh, here is the PACE BMS details. You can see the current output is 1940 mini ampere. So the system now is worked. Okay, now we finished the installation. The battery connected to the inverter and the inverter connected to the grid. And also we uh, and also we 
install the output on and off switch, which can use the battery directly with this set of the device. Uh, if we open the on and off switch, and the fan can be work. So now for the 15 kilowatt hour with the inverter, this is a small solar energy storage system. And you guys may ask the, about the cost for these systems. For the battery pack from the Starmax, which is for assembled with the five years warranty and built with the brand new gray A Hyzen 280 amp hour and pays BMS, it costs 1,200 USD dollar for the fur pack. And the inverter we bought is 900 USD dollar for six kilowatts hour from the magnifold. So the total cost is around 2,100 USD dollar, which can be used for your home applications. If you guys are looking for the lithium ion phosphate battery, you can contact with us freely. This video is shows for you guys how to connect the inverter with the battery and with the grid. The next video we will also continue to bring you guys to connect the solar panel with the inverter and how to charge from the solar panel. And if you have interest in it, please follow us and we will see you in the test.